Hi Crystal Souls, or if you are doing well. Today I'm coming with a pick a card reading and this one is about what is your soulmate attracted to? To pick your group, I highly suggest you to press the pause button and actually meditate on the cards and select the one that is calling you. You can also use a pendulum or your intuition will do. And of course, if you want to book a personal reading, I'll be so happy to help you. You can find all the details in the description down below. If you like this reading, please put a thumbs up and also let me know down below what you think about this one. Okay, now let's start the reading. So here's the group 1 with the pirate, the group 2 with the laboratory, and the group 3 with the amethyst. Let's start with the first one. The overall energy is the devil. I actually don't see this card as something negative. I believe that what your soulmate will be attracted to is... Um, as you may know, for example, twin flames actually meet each other when they will have do the work, uh, when they will have experienced something maybe difficult, maybe unfair, so they can awaken and and go to the through the night, the dark night of the soul, for example, and so they can actually meet their soulmate or twin flame. Uh, I think that this card is is telling me this thing. I think that this card is pretty much like this. Uh, this is telling me that your soulmate or maybe twin flame is actually wanting you to go and experience things so you can awaken. And this might be something painful and difficult. The devil card here can mean recovery, uh, going away from um, something that is actually abusive, toxic. So I think your soulmate wants you to be at your best state of soul. Uh, of the soul evolution is going to actually want you to be your best version, uh, your best self, because you will have done the healing. You'll finally, you'll finally be who you are supposed to be in order for you guys to be with each other, to meet each other. So this overall energy is definitely something positive, something that will bring a lot of healing, a lot of. Um, I think you guys will be challenged, in. Uh, love especially and this is in order for you guys to meet maybe this is a part of your soul's contract to kind of suffer but in the suffering awaken spiritually so you guys can actually be with each other yeah definitely i think this is about your soul's contract you need to experience the worst in order for you to recognize the best and when you will recognize the best then it's going to be the time when when you finally recognize what is beautiful in, in someone else and, and when you will recognize your soulmate. So the big symbol of this card is for me um, someone that will be strong enough to awaken, someone that will be strong enough to stand on their feet even though they have been suffering uh, in a relationship. And excuse me, I'm sick, so this is why I have this awful voice. But bear with it, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I'm seeing also on this card is that this might represent an ex, uh, someone that was toxic, the devil kind of represented, but it's the death of this person. Uh, you are probably moving on from a toxic relationship and when you will actually take this ship and maybe go away from this um, situation, from this toxic relationship, then this is when you are going to be landing in another land, another thing that is actually very positive for you and that will empower you. This is telling me that in order for you to meet your soulmate and for him or her to be attracted about you, you need to move on to be led where the ocean is taking you. Uh, the water is also a symbol of change, it's in motion and you are going upward, you, you're leaving this place of of torment, of torture, of something that is toxic, definitely. You are taking a new direction. Maybe you will even travel to meet your your soulmate. Um, or maybe your soulmate will travel to you. And with this unicorn being here in front of the boat, this is telling me that you guys may be meeting each other in a very mystical way. But yes, the big message is about in order for you guys to meet each other, you may probably go through a lot of suffering um, but this is for the best and uh, this is what the universe is wanting you to experience the haze of vessels 
This card symbolizes love, compassion, creativity, overwhelming emotion. Um, the Ace is also for me a new beginning in general. So what I think your soulmate will be attracted to is someone that will be loving, compassionate, someone that will maybe be an artist or very creative, uh, maybe someone that is very dreamy and also in tune with their emotion. Um, someone that will bring a lot of abundance, a lot of passion, maybe a water sign as well because I'm seeing water here. I'm also seeing abundance because the water is flowing out of this vase. Um, so yeah, I think your soulmate might need someone that is stable, um, spiritual because we were talking about this, someone that can offer them growth in general, someone that will understand them on a deep level, uh, emotionally, spiritually, someone that will be able to connect with them on a very deep level. But yes, someone very loving, caring and understanding. Um, your soulmate might, might need someone that can be equally stable, equally open to share their emotions. Um, maybe someone that will actually talk a lot, that will express how they feel a lot, so they can feel understood and so they can understand you as well. So they might need someone that is very open about how they feel. I think this is in order for you guys to actually connect a lot and deeply with each other. Because your soulmate is wanting that type of connection, something very strong. The King of Stones. This one symbolizes someone that is solid, a practical person, uh, someone that has a lot of material success, that is wise, and that has a lot of asset. As I said, someone that is abundant and stable. Um, but not someone that will be kind of a prisoner of, of the world. Uh, I'm seeing that he is kind of imprisoned under the sea. I think this somehow represents him. Um, I don't think this person wants to be someone's prisoner. He wants to be free with this person. He wants to be able to swim um, under the ocean with you. He maybe want to travel with you. You know someone that is very passionate and free? I think they want freedom in their relationship. They want something that is very solid in some way, something that is strong, that can bring them wisdom, they can learn with you, they can grow spiritually with you. Definitely I'm not saying that this person will welcome you if you are not spiritually inclined, uh, if you are not even interested about mystical things. I believe this is someone that really really wants to grow as a spiritual person and they are wanting uh, to find their queen that will be like that, that will be open, that will be loving and understanding and that can let them free. I think for this king to be happy, he will have to meet a queen that is actually wise and that will be able to um, like bring them a lot of insight. I think this king really wants to learn from other people, they always want to learn more, to experience more and I think your soulmate is someone that will need someone like that, that will be able to share something new all the time, that uh, is very grounded and that is very spiritually open and, and ready to grow all the time and to share their growth and uh, their, ex their experiences in general. The Two of Vessels. Exactly like the Two of Cups, yeah. This card represents unified love, attraction, relationship and partnership. This is amazing because I'm seeing that if you align uh, with your soulmate's wishes, dreams, you guys will be the perfect match. You guys will, you know, share your cup with each other. You won't feel like you are needy or this person is needy because you two are very abundant emotionally, spiritually and I believe even financially. You guys are very balanced uh, and this is why you can attract each other and this is when you are going to attract each other when you two will be um, very stable very balanced in life and open to actually meet each other you guys will be easily attracted to each other because i believe that this union will will be meant to be i believe that you two will be attracted to each other very easily and very quickly because it will seem like it's obvious to be with this person. Uh, it's obvious because when you be with this person, you feel like, whoa, 
I've never felt that way and this is filling your heart with joy, so much passion, something very strong that you may have never felt before. You will feel understood with this person and you will connect on a deep level. It will kind of be your mirror or you'll be their mirror and I think you'll be surprised in a way because you, you never met someone that can actually relate to you so much. I also believe that you two will uh, dream about the same type of love. I mean, this is what your soulmate is wanting. I think he is someone who, who really wants to experience love on a deep level, something they have never experienced before. They are not going to seek for someone that is easy to get. They are going to seek for something that is mysterious, someone that is mysterious, someone that can bring them something special, because they are special themselves. And the Four of Pestles. Again, I'm seeing a lot of water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. This one symbolizes meditation, reevaluating priorities, and nurture talents. One of you or the two of you might be artists. Uh, you guys are in tune with your emotions, and this is why it's so easy for you to create something artistic, uh, some something very deep. And you might even, you know, write poems, um, sing, or perform in some way some hard because I'm saying that it's a way for you to express your love, to express how you feel, your emotions, um, and also to show a part of your spirit, you know, in a very mysterious way, in a very symbolic way. Your soulmate might be someone that meditates a lot, uh, that is very stable in life, that uh, is always working with the law of attraction, so he can attract the right partner. And you might be the right partner if you are watching it. If you recognize yourself with all these qualities, you might be the one that this soulmate is trying to attract. You might be even meditating yourself, you might be attracted about the spiritual world, you might want to actually grow with someone. Um, you may even be a Pisces or an Aquarius or a earth, earth sign, earth sign or water sign. It can be different, but this is the big... Um, the big energy, the big signs I'm seeing on this reading. But I think your soulmate will want to be with someone that is like him, very balanced, very um, very abundant, and also mysterious in a way. He will want someone that can meditate with him, uh, that can enjoy these type of things. Even I'm seeing healing energy, for example, because he wants to be free, and I think he wants also to free people. Uh, from their emotions, uh, from their experiences, their their torture, maybe, oh yeah, I'm seeing healer energy here. I think your soulmate is an healer. It doesn't mean that you have to be an healer as well. Um, every life's purpose is different, but it can be that you are an healer as well because you guys are the two of cups, so you might mirror a lot of qualities that your king as or your queen as. The Philosopher of Stones. Stone represents what is harvested, what is shown to the earth and associated with the economy and material wealth. Again, I'm saying that this soulmate is meditating. Uh, the, um, the crystals also represent what is harvested. So in the material world, this is finances. This is a lot of abundance. Someone that is wanting to grow because I'm seeing the flowers on the side. But yes, this is going to be someone that is very open spiritually. And he might want to be with someone that is as spiritual as he is or she is. This is also someone that is not ego-centered because I'm saying that he has no face. So he's going to see the world through through his spirit and not his self because the self doesn't exist. He doesn't see life as something uh, very 3D centered, for example. He might be very open to spirituality and I think this is his goal of life to ascend in the spiritual world. So if you think <laughs> your soulmate is not spiritual, it is not your soulmate because I'm saying that your soulmate is someone like that and there's no way that this person is not going to be attracted about the spiritual world or interested about this. Maybe your soulmate hasn't awakened yet, but I don't believe so because 
I mean, this energy is very strong. So it might be someone that is already on the spiritual path and that is wanting to connect with someone that is on the same path. A path of growth, a path of stability, uh, a path of abundance, prosperity. The philosopher is also a student, a teacher, forever gaining knowledge and ideas, he is a romantic and serious person. I mean, this is all we were talking about. This is all we were talking about. This is someone that is knowledgeable, that wants to actually learn more from people. Um, and that is also very romantic. We were talking about someone that is artistic, someone that is creative and that is very open with his emotion. Uh, or her emotions. So it might be your teacher, it might be a student, but I think this is pretty like in reverse as well. You will be um, their teacher in a lot of things. You guys will exchange a lot spiritually, uh, a lot of knowledge, and you guys will grow with each other, this is for sure. If you are meant to be with your soulmate, I'm saying that this will be a strong union. Um, this might even be a twin flame relationship i mean just look at it <laughs> this is so powerful this is one of the most powerful reading i've ever done this is great this is wonderful okay now the last card the two of feathers the feathers represent the sweet of desire passion representative of the spirit flight associated with the fire element so for me these two feathers represent yourself or you two's desire um, because you are kind of upside down, I believe that this is feminine and masculine energy represented on this card. But this can also be that you two haven't met each other yet because you are not aligned in the same position. Um, with the number two, I'm saying that yes, this represents the both of you. Mm -hmm. This also represents the material wealth. Um, so again, I'm saying that abundance is going to come to you guys very easily this is very easy for you to actually manifest abundance in your life um fortune money is going to flow to you and i think this is going to flow to you and grow in your life when you guys will actually be with each other because you will have this very strong energy you guys will be able to manifest quickly even more quickly with each other oh and please if you guys are with each other or will be with each, other, with each other the spirits are telling me you need to meditate with each other in order to create a, a really big change a, a shift in your reality if you meditate with each other you're going to bring a lot of abundance and growth and a lot of, of spiritual experiences you will awaken to another level but with the feathers being here yes your relationship is going to be one that is very passionate and strong, spiritually connected. You guys may have met each other in other past lives because this energy is very strong. Mm, and this is what your soulmate is wanting to align with. They're wanting to connect spiritually with you and they might know that you are coming because they might be manifesting you. And by the way, the number two also is the symbol of an union or opposites but in this case this is totally an union guys <laughs> your soulmate is just a wonderful person and i'm really excited for you guys i think you should work on your spiritual self on on learning more and on being open to receive your soulmate if you are already with your soulmate you guys are capable of doing a lot of amazing things oh my goodness they just told me something you guys might be light workers <laughs> and this is why I believe you guys are twin flames because you are meant to be with each other in order to bring light, love, peace to the world and inspire people to awaken and being spiritually open. You guys are going to teach people how to awaken. This might be even your life's purpose if you don't know that and you should take a look at it. Um, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. This is exciting. Okay, let's move on to the next group. The second group with the Labradorite. The overall energy is the Eight of Stones. And please excuse my voice, I am sick. 
The Age of Stones symbolizes mastering your craft, making a body of work, education and engagement. Your soulmate is wanting to engage with yourself, to maybe find someone that is very knowledgeable, educated, someone that will bring uh, something new to their life, that will be very caring and connected with themselves, because I'm seeing these stones being connected with each other. Maybe someone that is a bit maternal in some way, that, that will bring a lot of, of love, that will be very caring with each other, and that will always do their best to empower people. And because this is a symbol of mastering your craft, this might be someone that, that kind of dream or fall easily for people that are very connected to what they do. You know, when they are very passionate about, about what they do. They won't fall in love if you ace your job, for example. They might be, they might be not really attracted to someone who isn't feeling balanced in their life. Uh, if you don't like your job, don't take it so personally. I think this is just for you to recognize that if you don't like what you are doing, you're supposed to do something else. And I think your soulmate will support this idea. It will support that you will do your best to actually work in a place where you feel satisfied and happy and balanced. Because you deserve that. And you deserve to be balanced in order to actually bring stability to, to your relationship and to your environment as well. And to the people all around you. But I believe that your soulmate is wanting someone that is going to be able to share a lot, um, to be abandoned and connected, because the stones are representing something that is abandoned. The Queen of Stones. The Queen of Stone represents someone that is resourceful, fertility and domestic skills. I believe that your soulmate will be very attracted to someone that is yeah, someone that is skilled, someone that, as I said, a love his job or uh, if you are an artist, if you are someone that work in something that is special, um, if you are, per, for example, working in spirituality or something like that, this soulmate is going to be very attracted about these qualities of you. Your soulmate will also want to be with someone who is um, open to love, who wants to uh, kind of open open up to the, their partner. So this love can be fertile, this love can grow. I'm also seeing that the water is in motion, so change might come for you. Um, if you are, for example, in a bad job, this is telling me that you are going to find what you are supposed to do. Um, if you are in a bad situation as well, if you are in a, a toxic relationship, things are going to change in order for you to meet your soulmate. Uh, but I'm not saying that you will stay in a place where you don't feel satisfied and your soulmate is not wanting for you to stay in a place where I, where you think too much. I'm saying that you think too much. You you may not be happy right now. You're not even showing your true, fel your true face. You're just facing the stars and maybe you are praying for the universe, your spirit guides to actually manifest something better in your life. And things are going to come because I'm seeing the water in motion and they're going to bring this change in your life. But going back to what your soulmate might desire from you is to open up, to trust yourself, to be happy uh, with what you do, be happy in your work, in your environment, in, in love as well. They want you to be open, to be loving, to be caring uh, so you can have the best relationship with your soulmate. The Ten of Branches. This one symbolizes taking a break, learning to say no when it's necessary and freedom. Your soulmate might need someone that isn't going to be too easy with people. Uh, you know, not say yes because they need to or they feel forced to. I think they're going to need someone that is very strong and that knows what they want. Um, someone that is very very mature, you know, and also not someone who will be influenced easily. Uh, someone who is very strong at it. Your soulmate might also want people that, you know, take breaks, or go on vacation, knows how to relax, or knows how to mm, free themselves from worries, something like that, to actually, yeah, be free, be a free spirit, being open to changes, to growth, because I think that your soulmate might be someone like that, that is wanting to grow with someone that is 
you know, light hearted, not really complicated, um, not structured too much. Someone that is, that isn't a prisoner of um, duties or of people in general. They want someone that can be free with them, so they can experience life very easily and and feel free with you as well. Just someone that is easy in general and open to to change, open to something new, adventures. Um, someone that is like that. They might need someone that loves adventure, that loves to be free, that loves to always experience something new. Uh, not someone that is static, I'm saying. Uh, someone that might love to travel as well. They might love someone that is actually free, that is able to free themselves, to be open, um, to not really kind of have to hide how they feel. Uh, someone that is open, actually, and even open to travel, I'm saying, because I'm seeing a lot of freedom here. The Four of Branches. This one symbolizes homecoming, family, friend, and celebration. With this boat being here, I'm saying that your soulmate might really enjoy traveling, and you might even be someone that loves to travel. Um, but I'm not saying that he wants to stay static somewhere, he wants to explore the world. I'm saying that you are maybe on this boat, on the sea, lost on the sea, and you two are watching the stars. You know, you are enjoying this, these little things, you, you may even enjoy nature. Your soulmate actually enjoy nature and might want to explore life, um, the wild, something like that. Something that can bring in something new. And because this is a card of family, friends, celebration, um, it might be someone who really loves to have, have company, who really loves to be surrounded by um, friends and family. And you might even be someone like that. You might love to be surrounded by loving people, people that can understand you. Your soulmate might want to be around people that can make him feel good and also make him free. He might not really like company that stop him in a way or stop her because he might be someone who really loves to be in motion most of the time. Um, so I'm not saying that you might be static that much. Uh, you might not really enjoy being alone or not too too much. You might need sometimes to be alone, but not too much because I think that you really love company. You really love to be around your friends, uh, have fun and be around family. I mean, this is what your soulmate is and he might really enjoy these qualities in other people. These qualities or traits actually. Uh, someone that can actually celebrate, have fun, um, that can travel the world with him. Um, and he might be, you know, maybe a dreamer in some way. He might be very spontaneous. He might ask you to go on vacation, like, like that, just by thinking about it. He might be, yeah, very dreamy, light-hearted, uh, spontaneous with his actions. The Ace of Branches. The ace for me represents a new beginning, so you guys may meet each other very soon. If you feel like this is the one for you, maybe you need a type of, of different person. I don't know, but one of your soulmate, because I, I don't believe we have only one soulmate, but one of your soulmate is like that, and if it connects with what you want, uh, then this is going to be the one. So yeah, this is a symbol of new beginning. This card symbolizes new romance, job or project because we are talking about the soulmate um, that you dream of. This is definitely a new romance for you guys. And with this branch and something growing out of, of the branch, this is telling me that your soulmate might need someone who can grow with him. Um, something that will shine if you two can grow with each other and open up uh, to each other. For some reason, this mermaid... Um, got my attention. You might be a little bit of a loner right now. Maybe you are worrying about something. I don't know what, but if you feel like you are a loner and you do not really connect with this idea of being with friends and family, it's because you are suffering right now. But I believe that with time you might need to actually enjoy company and you might even meet people that are actually aligned with how you view life and um, your qualities or the things you actually want in people. But yeah, I, I think you are going to meet a lot of amazing people. 
and maybe you will meet amazing people when you'll be with your soulmate. Uh, you guys are going to attract the right company for you. The prophet of stones. The prophet is someone that is a seeker, uh, one with knowledge to inform their future through will and action. Um, I'm also seeing a star here and stones. Um, and this, uh, this, these stones are actually creating like a cocoon of comfort. I think your soulmate also enjoy being alone for some reason. You might really enjoy, you know, kind of staying in this cocoon and enjoy things and, and being relaxed and, and enjoy his, his own company or just enjoy your company. Be with yourself. Um, I'm saying that he might be very connected to the earth energy, to abundance. He might, he might attract abundance very easily money very easily because I'm seeing these stones here represented and this is also kind of making a cocoon uh, so this soulmate might be very financially stable um, and he might also like people that can offer them this abundance in some way he might like people that can be uh, aligned with um, the spirit world or the universe you know, someone that can actually manifest good things in their life. It doesn't have to be material. It can actually be abundance um, of love, so emotions, um, something something like that, actually. Even experiences, something that will bring them something different, something deep. The stones represent something that is harvested, um, that is also connected to the earth, as I said, and associated with the economy and material wealth. So... You might be someone that can make money pretty easily, especially when you will align with a job that is actually for you. If you are not in a work where you feel satisfied, it is not what you are supposed to do. This is what I'm getting from this. Um, you may need to change a direction. You may need to actually find your life's purpose in order for you to grow money and to be um, finding wealth and stability in your life. Um, and I believe that if it's not the case yet, you are going to manifest it. Maybe you, when you will be with your soulmate, or even before meeting your soulmate, and maybe this is when you guys are going to meet. And the last card. Moons represent emotions, psychic channel, related to healing, the tide of water, tied to love, and the creative. Your soulmate can be someone that is very creative, maybe an artist, um... Again, I'm seeing water energy here, earth energy, water energy, especially these two energies. It doesn't have to be these energies, but this is the big ones that I'm seeing. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that you guys might be spiritually inclined, working with the universe, working with energy, the moon. You may meditate under the moon. Um, you may also love to be around around water maybe you guys are planning to travel next to the sea uh, see the beach or the river something like that where there is water because if you are a water sign you might need water to actually feel complete uh, refresh yourself to find yourself back to recharge uh, with the water energy around you your soulmate might be someone that yeah is very loving very caring very open to share his emotions he might be healing you in some way when you'll be with him um or her you you may feel like you are finally understood you're finally able to grow with, the, with this person and because this is very psychic related i think you guys might be spirituals or interested in spirituality and the six here represent beauty and love so I think this kind of conclude everything. Um, you guys will finally be able to be with each other uh, and find beauty and love when you will align with your life's purpose, when you'll be able to grow, and maybe you'll be traveling to meet this person, but I'm saying that you two might really enjoy being in motion uh, to, you know, go on new adventures and grow with each other and yeah, kind of build your cocoon with each other. Even though you may enjoy family and friends, I'm seeing that you also really like to just spend time with each other, 
to have your your couple time and enjoy life uh, just the two of you and this will bring you a lot of growth a lot of love a lot of beauty and a lot of amazing experiences and adventures so yeah this is pretty exciting and I hope uh, you kind of learned a little bit more about your soulmate and about yourself as well okay let's move on to the last group And the last group with the Amethyst. The overall energy is the King of Vessels. The King is someone that is very generous, emotionally balanced and in control. This might be what your soulmate is wanting or what you want. Um, this might be the qualities that your soulmate is wanting or what he is. Uh, I'm saying that the fishes are surrounding him they are looking at him paying attention to his power of manifestation this might represent a crystal ball or something magical this king is caring about what he is trying to manifest um, i believe that this is more his energy mm, but i believe that your soulmate wants to be with someone that is kind of their mirror they want to be understood and in order for them to be understood they might need someone that is they're equal in some way. So this game might want to be with someone who is generous, um, emotionally open and balanced, and yeah, in control with how they feel and in control in their life. Um, you know, they, they don't want someone that is in pieces. So if you are feeling down or if you are out of a toxic relationship, you might need to do the healing before meeting your, tw your twin flame, I mean, your soulmate. Um, yeah, you need to actually find yourself back to love yourself, to be in control and balanced in order to be what this soulmate is wanting you to be. And I think this is when you guys are going to meet with each other. The Two of Stones. This one symbolizes multitasking, considering multiple options, defining priorities. I think your soulmate really enjoy people that are you know, giving their everything to actually achieve their goal. Uh, they really fall easily for someone that is a dreamer or, you know, dreamer but also grounded in, in some way. They know what they want uh, and they are going to achieve their goal, giving their everything. They, they are not afraid to multitask, to try new things, to try multiple things in order for them to find what is right for them. They are really inspired with people who actually try a lot to, you know, bring balance and also find find passion in what they do, um, try new things, as I said, but also someone that can define their priorities, that knows where to go, um, that knows what is best for them, actually. They might be very attracted about people who, you know, who knows what they do, who knows what they want. Um, you know, not someone who is kind of a lost person that doesn't really follow the rules. You might love people that take, take risks in general in life. Someone that is capable to end all life, to, to move on in life. This is the big thing I'm getting. I'm seeing the water here, something that is emotion. Change is going to come. And I'm seeing this as an open gate, you know, something that, that will lead to something new. Maybe you guys are going to experience something new, a new offer. You guys are going to meet each other in a very mystical way. This is going to be an open path for you guys to be with each other. Uh, I'm also seeing the, the trees here and these can symbolize growth. Meeting each other might be something that will make the both of you grow. The Six of Vessels. This one symbolizes tradition, nostalgia, reflecting on childhood, memories guidance and reunion reunion oh my goodness maybe you two have met in past lives maybe you two are twin flames and you guys may have made a contract with each other in past lives or as twin flames to actually be with each other meet each other uh, i'm seeing this boat and maybe this is directing you two on the same path with this open gate being here, on the same journey. Maybe these floating bo bottles are kind of symbols 
on messages from the universe. You know, you kind of have clues on your, your journey so you guys can meet with each other. So try to pay attention to signs, synchronicities, things like that, because this might be hints of the universe uh, for you guys to actually be with each other. Wow, this is pretty deep. And because this is a symbol of memory as well, nostalgia, yes, I think this is past life energy. There might be a lot of past memories, or I think when you guys will meet with each other, you guys will be very attracted to each other, and you won't really understand why in the first place. But then you will understand if you do uh, the spiritual work. You guys might be guided, um, because I'm seeing the boat here, being going in one direction. You guys might be guided by your spirit guides, by the universe, to actually be with each other. I'm saying this is a very strong connection with you guys. Yeah, just pay attention to the ints, because I believe this is very important for, for your journey and for you guys to find each other if you haven't met this person yet. The Queen of Vessels. This queen is someone who is emotionally secure, calm and intuitive and has compassion. These are all the qualities your, your twin flame or soulmate is wanting in you. Your twin or soulmate might want to be with someone who is open spiritually, who is very wise, intuitive, someone in tune with his, with his emotion. Someone that is caring because I'm saying that you are holding this as a baby, you know, you're kind of hugging this, this face. Um, I'm also saying that you are looking down to it, so you might be someone who is very attentive to people. The stars are being here, so maybe this is the representation of your spirits, your spirit guides, your angels, people that are guiding you. Mm, and because they are here, they might guide you to meet the, the right partner, your soulmate, actually. Oh my goodness, I just realized it. I am so... <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Don't you see it? We have the queen and the king. <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect union. Oh my goodness, um, man, I'm, I'm definitely blind. This is amazing. I'm losing voice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, going on. I hope I can finish this reading <laughs> with my voice intact. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I think this queen and the king, I mean, this is obvious. You guys are meant to be with each other. This might be twin flame energy, past life energy, soulmate energy. This is a very strong union. And I believe that your twin or your soulmate is going to be like you. You guys are going to be each other's quality. Um, because you are, you might be someone, if you are the queen, who is very emotional, secure, who is very caring, intuitive, and passionate. And your king might be very generous, emotionally stable, and in control. And this is all you guys might really want um, from each other. And I think this is how you guys will be able to grow with each other. So you might have all these qualities already, and, and your soulmate is just what you dream of. The Judgment card. This one symbolizes traditions, religious guidance, rebirth, inner calling, and judgment. Inner calling, yes! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down. I, I think, I think this is just a sign that you may receive, as I said, hints of the universe, your spirit guides. They are wanting to make you guys unite. You may receive really, really big signs, synchronicities. This is a calling from your angels, spirit guides. They want you to be, you know, you are guided to be with each other. This is for sure. You are going to unite. This is also, there is also a link here. And this might be the link that is connecting you guys. You guys might be tied with each other in the spiritual world. And this card is just telling me that in order for you guys to rebirth spiritually, uh, rebirth as twin, twin flames, you will need to understand the signs, the ints, um, 
to understand where you are going, to follow this path that is open, because you two are the perfect match. You two are actually meant to be with each other. You guys are twins. This might be twin flames journey. This might be soulmate journey. But your union is going to be very strong, very positive, very loving. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for you guys. So excited. The Ace of Moons. The Ace for me is always a new beginning. Can you see that we have an open path again? The path, the path, the trees all around you, the trees all around you, growth. There's clarity from the moon, the mountains, here again, symbol of growth. I mean, <laughs> this is so clear to me. This is so clear. You guys are going to meet with each other if you are not with this person yet, because you can already be. This is going to be a new journey for you guys. This is going to be a new beginning. I mean, this reading is not so much about what you should be. This is just telling me you are already enough. <laughs> this person is ready to welcome you the way you are because you have all the qualities of the Queen of Vessels. And right now the universe is just wanting you to be aware that this is coming and this will make you grow as a spirit. And this union will be so strong. This union will be so beautiful. And oh yeah, I'm so excited for you guys. And also the moons represent emotions, psychic channels, related to healing, the tide of water, tied to love, and the creative. Yes, you guys might be very creative, very in tune with your emotions, very loving, very caring. Um, maybe you two are healers in some way. You are very spiritually open. Oh, again, I'm seeing a lot of water energy here. And the last card, the Six of Knives. Six symbolizes beauty and love. Everything we all desire. <laughs> okay, this is telling me that your union or what your soulmate desires is someone that will be beautiful, not just with their appearance, but someone that will be beautiful at heart, or someone that will be beautiful with, you know, the way they talk, the way they express themselves, the way they care about people. Um, everything that is very loving, passionate, because again, this is a card of love. The knives represent the discerning force of the intellect, logic, reason, and associated with the hair element and learning. We have hair element. Maybe your soulmate is in hair sign, water sign, uh, or earth sign, this can be. I believe that you guys really love to learn. You guys are very intelligent and logic. And logic. Um, you might really love to learn from each other, even spiritually. Uh, you, you really love to grow and, and to always experience new things. You maybe even love to travel, to be in motion. And this is in order for you guys to grow. And maybe you guys will meet on a travel, a trip, this can be. But yes, I'm saying that your union is very strong. You guys might be from past lives, I'm saying twin flames, soulmate energy, something very strong, uh, something that is growing and nourishing uh, in motion. You guys are balanced. You guys are intuitive people. Working with the universe, very in tune with with the spiritual world, with the universe, spirit guides, growth, nature, yeah, strongly. <laughs> okay, well this is amazing because I believe that you guys are going to meet with each other or are with each other already. And if you are looking at this and you are already with your twin flame and you feel like this is exactly <laughs> what your relationship is about, this is just a confirmation that you are with the right person. And this is very exciting. Okay, this is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoy this reading. I'm sorry for my voice again. Uh, if you like this reading, please put a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think about this one, if it was accurate for you. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like readings in general, if you like spirituality. I will see you very soon, Crystal Souls. Take care of you. Bye-bye.